This is the video number 18 of Power BI Do-It-Yourself Tutorials. In this video, we are going to talk about rank functions and variables. Now variables are very interesting things available in Power BI and we would see how to use those variables and create a very dynamic dashboard or analysis. Now, please use the PBIX file in the previous video. You can download it from a Google Drive link, which is mentioned in the description section here. This is the Google Drive location. Now create a simple table with customer ID, sales and cost. Now think about this, what we are going to do here. Here we are going to create a calculation, a measure calculation for gross profit which we have done in the previous video, you can follow the similar one, but we, here we are gonna use a measure calculation to create gross profit, which is sales minus cost. Then we are gonna rank the customer IDs based on the profit. And then we are going to create a variable, which is gonna drive dynamically my top two, top three, top five, top 20 customers and we will see step by step how to do it. Now let's do create a sheet and in this sheet I'm gonna drag customer ID from F sales and turn it into a table here and I'm going to have sales which we created the last time as well as the cost in my previous video. So this is my sales amount and this is my cost amount, the cost of this product. Now let me create a calculation gross profit. So create a measure calculation gross profit. You can copy this formula from the description section of the video below and just paste it. Now if you want to type it, that will be good. So gross, gross profit underscore C. So I'm going to create a measure, right click, new measure and I'm going to paste this. So all I'm doing is gross profit C equals sum of sales minus sum of cost. Validate it. And then add the gross profit C which you just created. So that's my profit. Now based on this, uh, let me just arrange it in an order just to give an understanding. So I'm going to have the gross profit here. This is the gross profit and it should rank the customers. Now please note that because the customers are numbers, it's showing as decimal default. So I wanna change it non-number, it's gonna be a text. So uh, select customer ID here and then go to format, not format, modeling and then in this data type, te turn it to text. And there you go, the customer ID is now in text format. So let's do rank calculation. So create a rank measure calculation. It says rank X, the field you want to rank, the column it should be based on. So let's do that. I'm going to create a new calculation, measure calculation, and I'm going to say rank X, the customer ID, comma gross profit, comma zero, comma zero. And you can check the rank function also here. So uh, if you see the rank function, it says table, give us the table name which is customer ID or the expression is the gross profit. Value and order, you can leave it blank. Ties has to be zero by default. Now, I'm just gonna say rank and create that calculation and add the calculation here as well. So you can see that because the gross profit was maximum, it ranked as number one customer and so on and so forth. Now let's make it more dynamic. So in order to create uh, a top N, 
you can have multiple methods the first one could be you can go here uh, in the in the section and then uh, in the in the filters you can say customer ID top n and then you can drag and drop the gross profit column here that can also be done but again this is very static I can just say top 5 or 10 and it's going to show me top 5 or 10 customers let me show you again so I'm going to drag gross profit calculation here and I'm going to say top 5 so it's going to show me top 5 now I have to go back change again and this is top 6 but this is like every single time you have to change this filter and that is where I want to make it dynamic where I will have a slider here and based on the slider it will change automatically so let's clear out this filter I cleared out this filter and now let's create a variable so in order to create a dynamic top end with variable create a variable and how to do that is go here in the modeling tab click on new parameter and in the new parameter just say var top n it should be a whole number minimum is 1 or maybe 2 top 2 minimum and maximum 20 increment by 1 default I can say show me top 3 so 3 is a default value so every single time you open the report the default value would be 3 but then it will be you can change it dynamically and select this option add slicer to this page and it's going to create a variable where top 10 and then here I'm going to select single value the single value is going to be a slider and then I can slide but please note that it's not changing yet obviously because we have the we don't have the connection yet we have to create a connection so create a slicer for variable top end which is already done now create a measure calculation and this is going to be calculation it's going to say I'm going to do it I'm just going to do it for you so I'm going to say top end value so create a new measure calculation here say top end value then I would say if now you have to write a condition I'm going to say rank less than or equal to variable top end value that means if rank is less than or equal to the value then show me the gross profit C else blank so all it's saying is if rank is less than or equal to variable the variable which we created then show me the gross profit else blank now let's create this calculation top end value add it over here so you can see that it just shows the seven values and six four you can type it over here also ten there you go now I don't want to see all other values which are not available or blank or, or not top 10 so I'm going to select the list go to the filters and I'm going to say not blank is not blank that means I'm just going to see non blank values now if I change it there you go so it says apply a filter to restrict blank values values as, sh as shown in the figure now please note that this kind of a use is uh, this this filter and the variables are used wherein you have to make the dashboards the reports uh, analytics very dynamic and I have seen a lot places wherein uh, this parameter is also used for what if analysis so there are a lot of uh, you know wonderful use cases behind this now uh, just to another uh, use case around this variable is what if my cost increases by 10 percent what would be my profit or what would be the effect on my profit what if my uh, the value of the sales value the price 
of the quantity goes up like the price at which as I am a retailer selling the stuff out to the customers if I increase the price the sales of the of the the product by 10% uh, 15% what would be my uh, profit increase so that is where I you know the the what if analysis variables are really very very effective now let's do some hands-on exercises now download the data from the location this Google location uh, for doing a hands-on exercise now as in the previous video you were using the F shipment table please continue using that now create a rank measure calculation for quantity so based on the quantity uh, you rank it now interestingly create another rank measure calculation for quantity but this time for uh, ship flag equals y that means I want to rank the quantities for only those shipments which are already shipped out where the ship flag is y I hope this helps thank you